Hello morning. Hello. Hello. Mm. Morning to you. It's day four of the biannual big birthday. Yes, it is. Are you excited? Are you gonna get lots of reading then? Yes, you are. Hey guys, welcome back to Bookish Weekend. My name is Brooke and today is day four of the biannual Bibliothon. So, sorry I didn't film the first, the second and third day of this readathon. I was just out all day with friends and family and so I didn't get much reading done and I just wasn't feel, didn't feel comfortable vlogging when I was out and about so I thought there was no point just filming really, really short vlogs. But I am back and I promise you there will be vlogs for the rest of this week and I'm hoping they go a lot smoother than the first one but I will link that down below if you do want to check it out warning it is a mess um but yeah so today I have just got to tidy my room because it's a mess as you can see um and then I've got to put some washing out on the line and then I have work later at, I will leave work for half four so while I do all of that stuff, I am going to listen to my audiobook, which I downloaded yesterday, and for that one, and I downloaded Labyrinth Lost, because I thought it doesn't seem too long. I think it's just like 200 pages. Oh, no, it's not 200 pages. It's like 300 pages, I believe. Yeah, it's like 300 pages, so it should be quite a quick read. And I just needed an audiobook, and so I chose this one for that. Um, other than that, all day I have free, so I'm just going to do a ton of small reading of Lost Boy by Christina Henry, and this one I am on page 205, so I should finish this today and then probably pick up Daughter of a Burning City, maybe I'll pick up The Wicked Deep, but I definitely think I'm going to pick up one of those two. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll get a lot of reading done today, I'll keep you guys updated, um, so yeah, I will talk to you guys later.
just rang when I was reading and I have two parcels here. I think I know what they are. So let's just open them and see what they are. I will be featuring these in my book haul of the month as well. If they are what they think are. I mean, I know this one's books because it says books all over that thing. Um, I thought I'd just give you guys a sneak peek in here of what they are. So the first one I have here is Rebel of the Sands by Arwen Hamilton. As you can see, this is a second hand, but it's in pretty good condition. So I'm happy with that. Um, I have this because I am going to Yelp at the end of this month and I'm hoping to meet Arwen Hamilton there. So I've got her books um, ready to get signed. And I can't wait to read them. So, yep. Um, I mean, this is really annoying. I hate it when they put like, stickers on the cover. Um, but yeah. I am hoping to find um, two days in a row where I'm not doing much and I'm hoping to marathon on this trilogy and vlog it so it's like a 40 hour readathon thing um, but I'm just doing it myself um, so I can hopefully read those all before I go to Yelp because I am very interested in them and I think I would like to marathon them in 40 hours and just see how well I do. Um, I probably won't finish them in that long but I mean you could try can't you. Let's just open it up. Okay these are a lot prettier than I was expecting it to be. Okay, so this one is Toted to the Throne by Owen Hamilton. <laughs> I did order two sets of this trilogy. So the full set on this cover, this paperback, which are gorgeous by the way, they're so much gorgeous in person. Um, and I have all of these arrived, but I also ordered these hardback editions. I think the first one I only could find on paperback, but that's okay. But these are the two I got in hardback. They're just so gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm so glad I bought these. I didn't know if I should buy these or not. Um, I thought it was a bit excessive getting six books that I haven't read any of them yet. Um, just to get them signed. Because they're just so pretty. I think this is the US hardback edition. Um, I've never seen it before. I've only ever seen people have these covers. Until I went shopping for them on Ave Books. Um, just, I am so obsessed. This is the second one in the series. Um... I have got the other two coming, as I said. Oh, look at this. It's orange. I have got the other two coming, um, as I said. So hopefully those will arrive soon. I'm so excited to read this series. Um, so yeah. Uh, that is my little mini unboxing for today. I'm just obsessed with these covers. Look at them. <laughs> okay, that's it. I am, I'm done obsessing. Um, so I'm just cooking myself some noodles for lunch um, because I'm very hungry and I'll also probably have an ice cream afterwards because we got crunchy ice creams in the shopping and they're the most delicious things you'll ever taste so I think I'm gonna have one of them um, but I have finished Lost Boy by Christina Henry I just finished it and I really liked it I gave it 4.5 stars um, I loved Peter I mean I don't think you're meant to, but I did. Um, I also loved the other characters, Jamie as well. I just loved most of them, obviously, except from like Nip. Um, but that's not really a spoiler because you're not meant to like him from the door. Um, but I thought this was just a Peter Pan retelling. It's actually a like prequel to Peter Pan, so it's the story of how Captain Hook became Captain Hook. That's not a spoiler um, because that's like all over the pop, uh, the promotional stuff going on. It's just I didn't really pay much attention to us because of that when I bought it. Um, so I didn't realise that. Sorry about this, by the way. This is like the cupboard door, because you're in the cupboard right now. Um, 
But yeah, so this was really good. I loved it. This was the first book I have finished for the Wayne Bibliothon. I know it's day four and I've finished one book. I am a disgrace. But I really enjoyed it. This is completed the challenge for <sighs> read the last book you bought. So that is one done. I think after I have cooked my lunch, I'm going to Daughter of the Burning City now. Um, I think I've decided on that one. So yeah. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want din dins? Do you want din dins? Yeah. So I've just had my noodles and I've got my crunchy ice cream, which I am so excited to eat. I love these so much. And I'm just going to start editing this vlog quickly just so I can stay on top of it and do it bit by bit. And then... And then I'm going to start drawing with the Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. Hi guys, so I am currently at work. I'm on my break right now and I am just reading A Daughter of the Burning City. I am on page 72 and I am really loving it so far. Um, and also, yes, I do work at McDonald's. Don't I look right in the uniform? Um, yeah, I'm on page 72 at the moment and I'm really loving it so far. I love the whole feel of it. Um, I love the Gamora Festival vibe. I'm just loving it. I'm loving the writing. I'm loving the characters. So yeah, really enjoying this one. Hi guys, so I've just got home from work and I'm just going to finish the vlog here for tonight. It's um, about 10 o'clock, half 10, so I'm just going to finish this here and so then I can get my video uploaded and edited and then I will probably do some reading tonight but I can update you all about that tomorrow, so yeah. I'm quite pleased with today, I've finally finished on book. I know I'm not going to do great in this readathon since the last two days have been quite terrible, but hey ho, what can you do about it? Hopefully I'll be better next time, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.